Hi guys and welcome back to the Friesen Kitchen. I'm Annika and today I'm very excited about to show you how to make a quiche. This quiche includes some delicious ingredients like asparagus, some bacon, some cheese and we are even going to do the dough from scratch. It's pretty simple, don't worry. And um, you don't have to pre-bake the crust, we're going to dump it all in and then bake it and then it's done. So let me show you what you need for today. So for the dough you're going to need one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, 10 tablespoons of unsalted cold butter, two tablespoons of ice cold water, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And for the filling, you are going to need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a cup of heavy cream, half a cup of whole milk, four whole eggs, four slices of bacon, one and a half cups of cheese, and one pound of asparagus. So first off, we are going to make the dough. For that I'm combining flour, butter and salt in a food processor and blend for 30 seconds. And you can see the butter is well blended with the flour. Now you're going to add 2 tablespoons of ice cold water, then blend again for about a minute until the dough has formed. You want the dough to be soft but not wet or dry. Now place the dough on the countertop and knead for 30 seconds because you don't want the butter to melt. Then fold it to a disc, place it in a plastic wrap and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Now let's work on the filling. I like to start with asparagus and I snip off the ends because it's the bitter end and it will break naturally if you hold your two thumbs close together and press it. You will see it will snip right off. Now slice the asparagus very finely but keep the tips whole for the decoration later. Also slice the bacon into fine strips, place a searing pan over medium high heat, sear the bacon for two minutes until the bacon fat is released, then add the asparagus slices but not the tips yet and keep it searing for five minutes. Then remove from the pan and transfer to a bowl. And now use the same pan to sear the tips, drizzle a little olive oil if needed and sear for two minutes on high. Now remove the pan from the heat but leave the tips in the pan for later. And now you're going to combine all remaining ingredients except the eggs, mix well, set aside, then crack the eggs, whisk them and then you can add them as well. Stir your mixture very well, then set it aside until we are ready to fill the crust. The dough has rested for 30 minutes and now you are going to roll out the dough pretty thin. And I like to use the pan to measure how big I have to roll out the dough. The size is big enough, now I'm going to transfer the dough into my pan, flatten the sides, make it fit perfectly and then I trim the sides. So I don't like to waste any dough, I'm going to roll out the scraps and just place it on the bottom of my pie crust and no one will notice that this quiche has a double bottom. So now you can fill the pie crust with the prepared filling and place the tips on the top to make it nice and beautiful. Then bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. The quiche is golden brown and all baked. Now I'm going to remove the frame and place it on a nice platter. Okay, and here you go. The quiche is all baked. Look at this beautiful golden brown crust. It holds up the whole quiche perfectly fine without any pre-baking. Um, so you have to give this a try. And um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time. 
Bye.